Hi, I'm Sonny McGuire Smith and uh, I wanted to make a video of uh, the next year of my life and uh, the things that are going to happen, some planned, some not planned. What I want you to know is uh, I just celebrated my 49th birthday uh, two days ago and uh, for my birthday I asked for a specific present, that's all I wanted. Uh, I asked for an Omega 8004 uh, Nutrition Center, which is like a juicer. I'm going to make videos about that uh, later on. But I've been doing a lot of research about uh, the raw food diet, and uh, I'm not a guy who, you know, jumps on the diet wagon and, and uh, wants to lose weight and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm quite happy with myself. Um, but I do want to be healthier and uh, there's a few steps that I've taken uh, to start that road I guess or, or the first steps um, to, to be on this on this different path or this path that I want to go down uh, and I think that it would be kind of cool to videotape that over a uh, year's period so that when I turn 50 let's see where I'm at a um, little bit of history, um, I'm not, I don't exercise, can you tell? We'll talk about that in a second. Um, I'm, but I'm also not a couch potato. I'm not a set of, uh, uh, person that just lays around and, and does nothing. Uh, watch TV, I, I don't, me and my honey Pamela, we don't own a TV. Uh, we, uh, you know. Have busy lives and do do lots of things and, and talk and and sit and enjoy the outdoors and fires and if we do want to see something then you know we'll rent a movie and uh, put that on the, on our big screen through a projector but uh, you know that's about it um, but having said that you know I don't play sports uh, I have a gym membership that I've yet to go to but again this was kind of in the back of my head to start to become healthier and I took advantage of, of a good sale that they had um, so who knows maybe you will even have some segments of, of going to the gym never write anything off right um, but so with a raw food diet and I've done a lot of research over the past few months on it and uh, I'm not going to flick the switch on and say, okay, I'm a, I'm a vegan or um, I'm going to quit eating meat or, or cheese. I love cheese. Um, I love my steak too. For the most part, I think I eat fairly healthy. There is a lot of packaged and processed foods and things like that in, in my diet. And those are the types of things that I want to remove. So do I want to become 100% raw food person um, not necessarily if if it evolves to that then I'm, then I'm open to that but what I do want to do is introduce raw foods more raw foods into my diet so it's not a it's not a matter of flicking on a switch and poof all of a sudden I'm in a raw food uh, situation I'm going to introduce it into my diet and we're going to see what changes occur so just so you know where I'm at right now 215 pounds, not the greatest shape. Here's me a little bit closer. There you go. Not quite the pot going on. Some serious love handles. Um, and I weigh, I'm six foot tall. So 215, six foot, not too bad. Um, if you go with, I guess, some standards that I've heard from doctors or, or whatever. Um, Probably a 185, 190 mark is, is a healthy weight, apparently. Um, but, you know, who's telling you that? And what are they telling you to eat? Um, I don't have a set weight that I want to get to. Um, I guess maybe, I think what I'll do is maybe weigh myself once a month or some. I don't own a set of weigh scales. Uh, where I work, we have industrial uh, weigh scales that have to be calibrated for, for uh, what we do. Um, so they're very accurate. So I can just go stand on there. You know, we put uh, forklift pallets on them. I can just go stand on there and I'll see the reading. And uh, I think maybe I'll do that kind of once a month. 
I'm not like interested in this as a diet. I'm not interested in this to lose weight. Um, I'm not interested in this to lose the pot. I would like to lose the pot. Um, you know, at my age, it might be attractive. Who knows? Um, I just want to get healthier. I was a pack a day smoker uh, to keep going down history road here. And uh, I stopped smoking um, cigarettes. I almost called them analog cigarettes. I now smoke an e-cigarette, um, which, you know, I'll probably make a video on that a little bit later on as well. And I've been on that now for three months. So to kind of give you the, and I joined the gym in, uh, I think it was February. So it's now July uh, 21st. And, uh, you know, I haven't been to the gym yet. But you can sort of see uh, the picture and the, and the thought process in my head it kind of goes back about six months it goes back further than that on, on you know not going to the fast food restaurants I used to my job used to put me on the road uh, probably 300 days of the year and uh, I ate a lot of fast food and a lot of you know rich foods you, you know when you treat yourself you have your steak and, and sweet potatoes and, and potatoes and gravy and, and puddings and desserts and you name it and uh, I used to weigh 252 and uh, when my honey and I got together about four about four or five years ago um, the diet was started to change there in the sense of eating healthier foods so introducing more fish more salads um not going to the fast food restaurants and every once in a while you know what i do it you get the craving for a burger and you go get a burger to me at this point it's a, it's about balance it's, it's about what you like it's not it's not something that that i I'm not the type of person that that will be regimented. I'm not the type of person that likes to or enjoys being told what to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so here it is. Um, Sonny McGuire Smith in the raw. And uh, let's see what happens over the next year. And I'll try and bring you as many uh, videos on what I'm doing, where I'm at. What's my body doing? Um, recipes that I found, stuff like that. Um, we'll see what happens. So if you want to uh, cruise down this path with me as I hit the, uh, the half century mark in a year's time, then uh, you're welcome to join me and see what happens.